Welcome to using the ScanCef module for the CS9600. This beginning level recorded class is designed for clinical team members and demonstrates how to acquire images using the ScanCef module for the CS9600. Touchscreen Control Panel Overview Touchscreen Control Pane The control panel is a digital soft touch console. It is designed to interact directly with the unit to carry out cephalometric functions. The program pane and preview screen display the choice of programs that are available for different radiological exams based on the unit package plan. The patient type is child, adult, small, medium, large. Selecting the patient type will automatically adjust the KVMA output. Touch here to exit the acquisition interface. Exposure Parameter Panel. This option enables the user to choose and save exposure parameters for the radiological image acquisition. Imaging Mode. Imaging Mode enables the user to select the desired resolution before doing an exam, fast or high resolution. Patient Entry. Positions the unit in the patient entry mode. Demo. Enables the demonstration mode of the acquisition procedures to a patient without the x-ray. Fast height adjustment button. Press and hold up or down for fast adjustment of the height of the unit to the height of the patient. Slow height adjustment button. Press and hold up or down for slow adjustment of the height of the unit to the height of the patient, especially for the final adjustment. Patient Data History If a patient was previously examined, the unit will detect it from the patient's record history, and this icon will turn orange. The parameter settings, or patient's morphology, and the height adjustment buttons for column will also turn orange. Accessory Notification Will appear on the interface if the correct positioning accessory does not correspond to an acquisition. It turns blue if the position accessory is not removed and the temple supports are not rotated horizontally. Ready indicator. Black indicates the unit is not ready to start acquisition. Orange indicates the unit is preparing for acquisition. Green indicates the unit is ready to start acquisition. Warning. Will illuminate if there is an issue with the unit or if special attention is needed. Check the user manual if this icon is illuminated. Ionizing radiation warns you about radiation dangers. Blue indicates the x-ray is enabled. Gray indicates the x-ray is not enabled. Menu provides access to the following sub-menus. General settings, DICOM settings, reset to factory, patient history, shut down, restart, and about. Note, all functionality, except for adjusting the unit height, can be performed from the touch screen control panel and from the workstation interface. Both display error messages and operating parameters. Using the cephalometric system. Getting started. Important. After each use of the unit, disinfect any parts that may have come into contact with the patient. See the user's guide for your imaging system for more information on disinfection and equipment maintenance. After accessing the patient's record, click the cephalometric icon to access the cephalometric acquisition interface. The following illustration is displayed on the touchscreen control panel and on the main computer monitor. On the touchscreen control panel, Press the patient entry icon to rotate the arm into position. On the fixed arm, remove any positioning accessory and lower the head clamps by pulling and turning them outwards. When the following illustration disappears, the cephalometric acquisition interface is ready for use. Acquiring a lateral cephalometric image. Positioning the patient. On the touchscreen control panel, select the lateral program icon and choose the field of view. Select the patient type. Choose the imaging mode, fast or high resolution. If the default parameter setting is not adapted for the patient type, 
click the Parameters icon and set the parameters. To save the parameter settings, click Save as Default. Manually rotate the head clamps by the number of clicks and in the direction displayed on the position indicator on the touchscreen control panel. Note, the position indicator does not display if the head clamps are positioned correctly. When the head clamps are set correctly, the icon turns green, indicating the Ceph unit is ready to acquire images. Note, before taking X-ray images, make sure all metal objects are placed in the jewelry tray and a lead vest is placed on the patient. Make sure the head clamp bar is fully open and covered with an ear cone sheath. Do not pull from the bottom of the head clamp. After the unit is at the correct height, ask the patient to enter the unit. Slowly close the head clamps. Then lower the nasion bar. Align the nasion bar, align the patient's head on the Frankfurt plane, take the scan. Acquiring a frontal AP cephalometric image. Positioning the patient. On the touchscreen control panel, select the frontal AP program icon and choose the field of view. Select the patient type. Choose the imaging mode, fast or high resolution. If the default parameter setting is not adapted for the patient type, click the parameters icon and set the parameters. To save the parameter settings, click Save as Default. Manually rotate the head clamps by the number of clicks and in the direction displayed on the position indicator on the touchscreen control panel. Note, the position indicator does not display if the head clamps are positioned correctly. When the head clamps are set correctly, the icon turns green, indicating the Ceph unit is ready to acquire images. Note, before taking X-ray images, make sure all metal objects are placed in the jewelry tray and a lead vest is placed on the patient. Make sure the head clamp bar is fully open and covered with an ear cone sheath. Do not pull from the bottom of the head clamp. After the unit is at the correct height, ask the patient to enter the unit. Slowly close the head clamps. Then lower the nasion bar. Align the nasion bar. Align the patient's head on the Frankfurt plane. Take the scan. Acquiring a frontal PA cephalometric image. Positioning the patient. On the touchscreen control panel, select the Frontal PA program icon and choose the field of view. Select the patient type. Choose the imaging mode, fast or high resolution. If the default parameter setting is not adapted for the patient type, click the parameters icon and set the parameters. To save the parameter settings, click Save as Default. Manually rotate the head clamps by the number of clicks and in the direction displayed on the position indicator on the touchscreen control panel. Note, the position indicator does not display if the head clamps are positioned correctly. When the head clamps are set correctly, the icon turns green, indicating the Ceph unit is ready to acquire images. Note, before taking X-ray images, Make sure all metal objects are placed in the jewelry tray and a lead vest is placed on the patient. Make sure the head clamp bar is fully open and covered with an ear cone sheath. Do not pull from the bottom of the head clamp. After the unit is at the correct height, ask the patient to enter the unit. Slowly close the head clamps. Take the scan. Acquiring an oblique cephalometric image. Positioning the patient. 
On the touchscreen control panel, select the oblique program icon and choose the field of view. Select the patient type. Choose the imaging mode, fast or high resolution. If the default parameter setting is not adapted for the patient type, click the parameters icon and set the parameters. To save the parameter settings, click Save as Default. Manually rotate the head clamps by the number of clicks and in the direction displayed on the position indicator on the touchscreen control panel. Note, the position indicator does not display if the head clamps are positioned correctly. When the head clamps are set correctly, the icon turns green, indicating the Ceph unit is ready to acquire images. Note, before taking X-ray images, make sure all metal objects are placed in the jewelry tray and a lead vest is placed on the patient. Make sure the head clamp bar is fully open and covered with an ear cone sheath. Do not pull from the bottom of the head clamp. After the unit is at the correct height, ask the patient to enter the unit. Slowly close the head clamps. Align the nasion bar, align the patient's head on the Frankfurt plane, take the scan. Acquiring a Submento Vertex Cephalometric Image Positioning the Patient On the touchscreen control panel, select the Submento Vertex program icon and choose the field of view. Select the patient type. Choose the imaging mode, fast or high resolution. If the default parameter setting is not adapted for the patient type, click the parameters icon and set the parameters. To save the parameter settings, click Save as Default. Manually rotate the head clamps by the number of clicks and in the direction displayed on the position indicator on the touchscreen control panel. Note, the position indicator does not display if the head clamps are positioned correctly. When the head clamps are set correctly, the icon turns green, indicating the Ceph unit is ready to acquire images. Note, before taking X-ray images, make sure all metal objects are placed in the jewelry tray and a lead vest is placed on the patient. Make sure the head clamp bar is fully open and covered with an ear cone sheath. Note, do not pull from the bottom of the head clamp. After the unit is at the correct height, ask the patient to enter the unit. Slowly close the head clamps. Align the patient's head. Take the scan. Acquiring a carpus image. Positioning the patient. On the touchscreen control panel, select the carpus program icon and choose the field of view. Select the patient type. Select the hand to be scanned, left or right. Choose the imaging mode fast or high resolution. If the default parameter setting is not adapted for the patient type, click the parameters icon and set the parameters. To save the parameter settings, click Save as Default. Manually rotate the head clamps by the number of clicks and in the direction displayed on the position indicator on the touchscreen control panel. Note, the position indicator does not display if the head clamps are positioned correctly. To insert the carpus panel, remove the cap and push the carpus panel into the magnetic carpus panel slot. When the head clamps are set correctly and the carpus panel is attached, the icon turns green, indicating the Ceph unit is ready to acquire images. Note: Before taking x-ray images, make sure all metal objects are placed in the jewelry tray and a lead vest is placed on the patient. Pediatric patients must wear a lead apron with a thyroid collar. To insert the carpus panel, remove the cap and push the carpus panel into the magnetic carpus panel slot. Ask the patient to stand beside the cephalometric unit. 
ask the patient to fully open their hand and place it flat on the carpus panel. Make sure the hand, wrist, and forearm are in a vertical position. Take the scan. This concludes using the ScanCEF module for the CS9600 recorded class